We're looking at the beach for a very particular reason here, Kristen. Yeah, I'm a little afraid to go to the beach because my legs are so white right oh. now. Summer is here, and whether you are going to the beach or hitting the pool or you just want to be out and about, you want to have a little bit of a nice summer glow. But we all know laying out in the sun for hours or going to a tanning bed, yeah, it's just not good for your skin. So how do you get the best of both worlds? We wanted to know. So every time we have a question about anything beauty, we ask Charlton, how you doing, my friend? Good, thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so glad. How are things at Tap Beauty? Oh, they're wonderful. We're just moving and grooving. We've got our fashion. We've got all things beauty, makeup, skin, hair, and of course, self tanners. I drove by the spot the other day and I was like, oh, it's such like a pretty welcoming little exterior, oh, cute little spot. So you. I encourage people to stop in and say hello. Okay, I'm so glad we're talking about this because I was actually doing a scroll the other day on self tanners because I don't love to be out in the sun as much. I get a little more like up here than mm -hmm. I do down here. Um, but I want like my legs to match my shoulders, right, right? right? And I'm just afraid that I'll pick the wrong thing. Well, okay, so there are a lot of different formulas out there. You yeah. have mousses, saint makes a, a whole bunch of different types of products. So finding the formula that best sits, fit, fits you is most important. So, Whether it's a lotion yeah, or a mousse, sometimes there's tan towels, there's serums. Um, so kind of knowing what product you're using is key. Yeah, how do you know which one to use for your skin type or well, what I always say do? that if you are on the more fair side, mm -hmm. start with a serum, start something with a gradual. The word gradual tan is super important. Okay. Um, and kind of avoid a mousse at first because then that way it um, doesn't cause streaks and um, you're not gonna get splotchy. Yeah, that's what I'm so afraid of is the streaks and the splotches. Yes. Talk about exfoliating before Okay, you so any before you do anything, whether it's a self tanner or a body makeup, you're going to want to start with freshly cleaned exfoliated skin, yeah. both for the face and body. So I like to do like a really good scrub. Mm -hmm. These are like um, something that I found at CVS um, mm -hmm. or Walgreens or any drugstore. It really scrubs the the, um, the body well, and you want to think about your elbows, your wrist, your heels, your knees, because those are the places where it creases, mm -hmm. and that's where the product can really collect. Yeah, and then and you get those weird brown spots exactly. in your elbows. Exactly. So the, to get rid of all the dead skin, first get out of the shower, and then after you've exfoliated, and pat dry. If you wait too long, mm -hmm. it's really hard for the self tanner to kind of set in. Ah. So I think the key is freshly bathed, and when you come out, then put your self tanner on. So your your the outer layer of your skin, which is the lipid barrier, is more open to receive the product. I love that. We have about two minutes. I okay. want to get through a lot of options, and Perfect. I want to get to body makeup because okay. I'm so curious about that. <laughs> but let's start with the self tanners first. You brought lots of examples. Yes. Pick out a few of your favorites. Okay, so one of my favorites is um, Kula. Mm -hmm. It's a serum. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so you can see where it goes. And that's one of those where you can put your clothes on after it's dried and go out th throughout your day and about four to eight hours, you're gonna have the maximum um, develop. And then you can do it every day if you wanted to. Ah. What I like about this is you can moisturize on top of it. And it's not gonna mess it up? Right, exactly. Okay. So then saint Therese has a, a daily that is a lotion. Okay. And then this is clear, so you're not gonna see where you're gonna put it. So sometimes I like to um, add extra lotion on top to make sure we're blending everything in. Got it. This one right here has a color indicator, the same formula, but you'll see it, um, it's gonna give you a little bit of a tan. Yeah. And then the tan washes off when you take the shower, but um, you'll um, you'll have the self tan underneath it. Oh, that's cool. And then this is a mousse. This mousse is very strong. It's for the diehard um, tanning junkies. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll need to use a mitt, and when you do use a mitt or a, a brush, I particularly like to use a um, rubber glove. Okay. And then I'll take like an old sock, and then I will like buff it all over. Okay. Because when you take it off, your hands aren't stained. Got it. And then when I'm doing the hands, um, I like to take a smaller brush yep. and go into the cracks. And then this kind of brush, you can really get the elbows and buff it in right here. So designate like a kabuki brush or a, a stiff brush for the smaller areas. Um, do these smell good? Because that's the other thing with self tanner. Sometimes they stink and you walk by people exactly. and they're like, she's So that ingredient's called DHA okay. and that's what makes us have the self tan. It's a sugar base which reacts to our skin, yep. which gives us that glow. Now, I know this is gonna sound um, like, you know, 
far-fetched, but the more expensive the self-tanner is, the more they have modified the DHA and counteracted the smells. Got so it. if you're using something from the drugstore, yes, it's going to cost $9, but you're probably going to smell really, really bad. I'm almost out of time. We have okay. like 30 seconds, but I want you to tell me about body makeup. So body makeup is the newest rage. This is from Westmore Beauty. It comes, you can you apply it with this wonderful Kabuki brush. Feel how soft oh, that is. Oh my gosh, oh my it's God. like a it's chinchilla. It's like mink, right? Yes. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put this on, put it on just like you're doing the self-tanner. Clean, exfoliated skin, buff it in. This will last three, two, three, four days if you're lucky. Okay. The key is not to use any cleanser on your body that's oil-based okay. for your face or your body. And it's really beautiful. I did a little bit last night right here. Oh, it doesn't just to look see like the makeup. Difference. And, the, and then when you've done it, uh, all over the body, wait 10 minutes till it completely drives and take like a microfiber cloth and really buff it off okay. and buff it, buff it, buff it because that'll get the residual. That way it doesn't transfer to your clothes, your furniture or anything else. Your friends, anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put all the information up on the screen. Of course, every, the team at Tap Beauty always has the answers so you can always go in and ask more questions if you have them for Charlton. Thank you for coming to see Thanks us. I missed me. you. Bye.